floor. I mean, even when he doesn't get a pass, he's out. The AT&T Big East quarterfinals, two of four this afternoon. Earlier, Villanova beat Syracuse by 10. Now the four-seed Providence leads the five-seed West Virginia. The higher seed has won all six games in this tournament, and Austin Crozier's efforts trying to make it seven in a row. Corey Wright made that nice pass to Crozier earlier on that fast break on the bench as Providence back to its starting five. Now the zone takes Shamgut out just a little bit, but it opens up some jump shots, I think, for Thomas and Crozier. Or Shamgut, uh, he had to shoot it late because of the shot clock again. Chance for the Mountaineers to get to two. Pledger tried the run out. Jefferson the three. Jamel Thomas quickly on the board. Pretty good comeback. Jamel had fumbled the pass on the wing, sort of unsettled the offensive thrust. Don't pretend to no body language, but the West Virginia coaching staff didn't look thrilled with the three, but they're happy with the Solheim steal. And Pledger in transition. Oh, he's great in that lane, isn't he? A bad mistake at the one end, trying to get Austin Crozier to basketball. And a nice counterpunch by the Mountaineers. Pledger has 18. They just hang around. Crozier a three. Austin oh. Crozier! Oh, and Solheim State. What do I have to do? They've got to get back and protect here, Providence. Pledger. That left hand has been lethal in the lane. Arrow pointing to the Mountaineers. Good effort there on the glass by Malone. They couldn't have gotten a better look, could they? Fledger, the ability earlier to get himself into the lane and finish. And of course, Crozier with the counter at the other end. Pete Gillen will use his 22nd timeout. I believe it's the last one he has left. You know Pledger's going to shoot with the left hand when he gets in that lane, but it's still tough to adjust to. A little bit like Tiny in the lane with that left little pump. And then the counter down at the other end. Solheim out. You figure you're in good defensive position. He dribbled by me earlier. Don't get the hand quite up and up. And Austin on a roll and silencing a lot of critics. Maybe one of the best things that happened to him is not getting the MVP of the league. Garrity getting it. So watch out for Victor Page, too, when Georgetown plays later. Georgetown, Georgetown and BC have been sitting around. We're seven games into the tournament, and this two and three seed have not seen the floor yet. They will tonight. You'll see it all on the deuce. First, then ESPN. Jefferson inside, fouled. He'll go to the line. To three on God Shamgar. Two free throws now as uh, the Friars have committed ten here. In the, third, in the second half. So there you see how all the top seeds have advanced over. We had one through eight make it to the quarterfinals. Number one Villanova beats Syracuse by 10. There are the night matchups. Georgetown, Miami on the deuce. And then at about 9.15ish, Boston College, Pittsburgh. On ESPN. One more for Jefferson. Get the defense adjusted, get Malone back. Jared West has that look, put me in coach. Corey Wright, the small guy for the Friars, comes in. Urban Garst is out, another ball handler. Yeah, I would think a little more of a perimeter game and maybe give Austin some room to work the lane. But they, they do handle better. They got a little more energy, I think, with this lineup. Threatening a defensive plant there, but Sam God didn't dribble into it. They spread the floor. Contact, no call. Solheim then tripped Crozier. That was not called. No, no, that should have been called. Shot clock at 10. Sam God got by Pledger and fouled by Solheim before he released. A foot takedown. Jimmy Burr telling Crozier, forget about it, by Solheim. He does give them a little game, though. He gets after it. That's the fourth. Here's the little takedown. Now, watch the feet. Good little takedown, and they've had a few WFA matches here. A little foothold. Solheim was a uh, punter in high school when he played football, so he's certainly familiar with what to do with the puppies. Well, he didn't pin them, so therefore the puppies 
don't consider it a foul. One more for Shamgod into double digits now for Pete Gillen on his average of 10. Tremendous shooting from the line for the Friars. The best, even better, in terms of Big East free throw shooting team. Plus five, two minutes to go. Here's that little three-quarter court they've used on and off. West Virginia has been sound against it. They, they forget to protect how Garces finally gets back against Malone. Saw Gordon at the bottom of the screen trying to pop free there. And now guarded in the lane. Jefferson looking to get free, but Sham got right in his shorts. Took it away from him. Jump ball. Providence ball. They've been switching the perimeter exchange. Jamel Thomas was on him. Sham God popped out. Just extraordinary reaction. Here's the exchange. Jamel goes back. Sham God takes away that turning of the corner. Good footwork and position, and all he needed was the basketball. And those guys that don't have to clean the uniforms get a big bang out of it as well. Down at the end, Cleary, Adams, Cabello, and Njai. Providence has gone with only seven players today. West Virginia's played nine. Bynum getting a couple of moments. Oh, Jam got triple team. I was just going to say, what a perfect trap position. They're going to spread and see if they can get God into the free area. West gives the foul on Corey Wright at 58%. An intelligent foul. He's the poorest free throw shooter on the floor. And Gale was telling them right away to give it up. So they know the numbers there on the sideline as well. Michael Brown, a longtime assistant. And with PJ, right? Uh, under PJ, but he also was at Cincy with Gale as well. Mike Brown, Mel Hankinson, and Drew Catlett on oh, Gail Catlett's staff. Here's Corey Wright. Made them all today. So much for numbers, huh? Providence is 8 of 8 at the free throw strike in this second half. Numbers don't tell you much about heart, does it? Do they, I should say, by programmer. Eight for nine and a half. Two possession games, 77 seconds. Jefferson made some contact. Oh, my goodness. How did he get away with that one, huh? And still make the shot to give away by Jefferson. A discard. He fumbled the ball. The presence to get it up for the kiss release. Fortunately, oh. this is not ESPN radio because I don't know if that was describable. So look at that again. <laughs> Take a look at this now. Uh, here's it. He almost loses it. A little fake. Gets it back and knocks it down. That's extraordinary. Sam got exceeding his averages. Well, God generally exceed expectations, but a little more of Gail Catlett, like Valvano. Score, give the foul, let them beat you at the other end, and hope that the numbers are true. Sam got a 63, knocks them both down. Your job is to make West Virginia take longer to score. Uh, to give, oh. give the foul in there. Nice play by Jared West. I mean, got it with that foot speed down the floor within five seconds. And it's five on Ruben Garces, who's been coming out in the offense, defense switches whenever possible because he's only a 40% free throw shooter, but obviously on the floor for defense, comes out today after 11 boards to go with four first-half only points. Was there any question in your mind about him playing? He's one of the tough kids with the ankle. He's got arms like you do. Same arms like I do legs. Same personal trainer. Great smile. And you mentioned the numbers. Only seven people having played. Play a lot smaller right now. Derek Brown coming in. Jefferson for two at the line. Love guys that can step up and knock them down at this juncture in the basketball game. They got to coordinate with a defense now. Oh, 
Crozier went up for it, nearly came away without the ball, but the Friars able to get it out of harm's way now in the final minute. Keep the ball moving. If that's what they got to use the clock. Solheim and that number five, Mike. Yes, it is. Not much you can do, though. Good keep away by the Friars. So Brent Solheim's day is done. Full effort guarding Austin Crozier whenever possible today by Solheim. His numbers never show up in terms of points and anything else you can quantify numerically for Gail Catholic team. You'd say he's a presence. That's what he is. That's great. That's yeah, it. Just, exactly just it. whatever you want me to do, coach. Put me in. I'm ready to go. Friars going for win 21. The Mountaineers going for win 20 on the season. Yeah, Providence is ahead. All the assistants are up. Just, you know, straightening everything out. Uh, behind, they got the towels over their eyes, and they're worried about how much tape they're going to watch at night. One more for Derek Brown in this tremendous second half at the line. Continues just the one miss here in the second half at the line for PC. And West Virginia and Gale are doing a great job stretching this game out. I mean, it hasn't moved. 53 and a half seconds left. I mean, if they can get those twos or a three for a two or a two for a one where they don't make the free throw, they have plenty of time left. Seven. And still go for the twos. Don't even think about the three unless it's forced on you. Third set of this foul score, and now it's a three-possession game instead of two. Mountaineers have two timeouts left. Owens can hit it. Nice play by West. Who kept it alive for a Jefferson three. Thomas the rebound, and the Friars are looking pretty good right now. That was a big basket there. They knocked that one down. It's not Jack Kelly. It's not Emma Carr. It's Ruben Garces. West Virginia timeout. Pete Gillen gets the attention. We mentioned his assistants, Bobby Gonzalez and Michael Malone. But watch Tommy Harry and the assistant. <laughs> Getting on the floor. Getting to the semifinals, maybe. Are you ready? Looks like all the games here in New York. Brad Nessler and Clark Kellogg will uh, describe the rest of the action for you. Should be a fun night for those two. Yeah. First game on the deuce, Miami and Georgetown. Special K probably could have worked two someplace today. Hey, Northeast Championship starts in 20 minutes. Flatbush Avenue in Brooklyn with LIU on the deuce. Dave Miller didn't call me. I'm upset. Nice quick goal by Malone. Seven points with 31 left. The steal by Jefferson. Five point game. One timeout left for the Mountaineers. Gotta stop it. And West finally commits the foul. Oh, the pass leading to a layup with two seconds is all it took. And right under the hoop, what a bad spot to turn it over. Oh, uh, why isn't he gray? <laughs> Just when you think you have it. Mountaineers have a timeout left. This is Murdoch's first trip to the free throw line. <laughs> Friars have missed just three of their 28. And you can coach as much as you want, but when they hit them, nothing you can do. Now West Virginia set that press up quickly, though, in fairness to them, and forced a tough pass. Don't want to foul. you got to push if you're West Virginia. Still a two-possession game with a timeout in 20 seconds. Pledger takes a two. Oh, big rebound. And that one may call it a day. Two to corner three, and that one would have given them a chance. Austin Crozier, a chance to close out what's been a terrific day with a senior from Los Angeles. Maybe as good as I've seen him play. They hugged him, he put it on the floor, got himself to the rim, showed a lot of excitement and enthusiasm. If they didn't get up on him or they were confused, able to make the deep one. The total package and rebounded and competed as well as I've seen it. 57 free throws in a row. The Division I record is 64, so there's a record in sight. 
perhaps. Oh, and he knows too. <laughs> Austin, I'm sorry. West to three. Not to be. Mike Tirico <laughs> broke his string. He worked all day. Derek Brown not able to finish. Austin Crozier and the Providence Friars move on to the semifinals. West Virginia's season ends at 19 and 9. The Friars are now 21 and 10. Special thanks to Tom Archer, Bruce Truitt, Aaron Owens, our crew that's worked many of the Big East games all year. We appreciate their work and enjoy their efforts as well. The AT&T Big East Championship continues from the Garden on the Deuce and ESPN later tonight. Now with Bill Raftery and our entire crew, Mike Tirico. You're watching ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports, where Championship Week continues in the studio with John Dick and Digger. Guys?